Hi guys, Anne for Amber Acres here. Today we're going to be <coughs> cedars with the 30 years that are open. Okay, so this is what we're going to use for inserting with the applicator as part of the cedars paper. <coughs> What do you have to do? And the wings, so it goes up in, and out, they fold out, and that's what holds it in place. Okay, and the vet explained how important it was to wear rubber gloves mm. when when doing that. Okay. That's how it holds itself in. That's how it holds itself in? Yeah. So the whole unit's gonna be inserted and stays? Everything except for the string. Okay, let's give it a shot. Tyler's simply inserting it with the, uh, that's, that's an applicator gun that we got from the vet. Okay. There you go. That's it. Done. So we got this from the, from, we ordered this from Walmart. We didn't actually get it from the vet. So this be left into the U for how many days, Tyler? 15. For 15 days. And then we're going to have to catch her again. And because we're doing the Cedars program, we're not vaccinating these U's because we vaccinate six to eight weeks before lambing only. We have 30 ewes that were open and we're trying a uh, Cedars trial program. So we're gonna be doing this injection now. So this injection for this for the Cedars program is a second step. So this injection is being given on day 12. And it'll just be injected in the neck. So the Cedars program group has a green painted dot. We're getting done. Green, 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 green. It's a group of 30. They were open. Most of them are you lambs that did not get bred in the, the last group. So we decided we would try a Cedars program. And if it works, great. We'll hit a different market with our lambs. And if it doesn't work, we likely will sell them. the garbage it goes. So injecting this today into each of the ewes is the last injection that they need and tomorrow they'll be in joining in with the rams for 24 hours and they go in with the rams 24 hours after this shot. Powder and you need to take five mils out.
into the powder to mix it. So you take it from the larger jar, put it in the smaller jar, and then you put it back in the large jar. Yeah, so it's got to be mixed. Now it goes back in here, the needle full of the mixed solution. So now there's nothing here for five views. Okay. So injecting this today into each of the U's is the last injection that they need. And tomorrow they'll be in joining in with the rams for 24 hours. And they go in with the rams 24 hours after this shot. There we go. Two more done. have been in with this group of 30 for 12 hours and I'm only seeing about four that have no markings on their backs. I thought that the chalk was to identify which ram was a breeding uh, but the guys have explained that it's mainly to know that if the animal has in fact been bred. So we have six rams in here with 30 ewes. Most of them are ewe lambs. That were, we tried to breed with the group in barn one, but were 30 of them, 30 out of 60 were open. So we decided to try a uh, Cedars program. That's our first attempt at this. And we'll have to look at the uh, cost of, of doing it in this manner and the success rate to decide if it's worth the effort. It's one of the boys. Oh, there's a second one. Oh, there's another one. Two more that have yet to be bred. <clears throat> that one there's got a small amount of yellow on her. <laughs> this one's marked with every color. And this here cutie has got nothing on her. These black face ones are becoming my favorite. Oh! What colors? Oh, he would be yellow. Oh! They're fighting over number 16. 